Oh, what is up guys? Dark Western back again. Today we got some random shit from eBay. I can't even remember what it was because I ordered it so fucking long ago. So let's rip this bitch up and find out what's inside. Sick. Okay, guys, look at that. We got some Pokeballs and a binder. I could not believe my balls when I saw this binder finally came out. We have had no way to store our jumbo sized cards until now. And it also comes with a big, fat, sexy, thick as fuck looking Pikachu ass with a special mark. And I actually see some scratches on there knew my ass. So what we're gonna do is rip this up, put my existing cards in there, and then take a quick peek. Oh, we got some bullshit in here, okay. Okay, take a quick peek at all this bullshit first. So here's the gigantic Pikachu looking ass. Uh, it's pretty sick, and as it turns out these scratches on here were not on there, so the card is in good condition. eBay reputation intact. And then, along with the binder, we're given some fucking bullshit spam. It looks like they're going to be releasing these binders every month. I see we're also supposed to have gotten two booster packs, but those were not included. So, EBA reputation fucking trashed. I'm gonna destroy him. I'm gonna destroy his reputation. And what else? Okay, we get a little checklist, so that's pretty good. Hang on a second. <laughs> I was just reading this shit. Plus, keep an eye out for the first partner collector's binder, which lets you store these oversized cards and comes with an oversized Pikachu. Pretty sure that's the shit we just bought, Pokemon. I don't know why you would spam me with the shit we just got. So let's move this, put the binder here. Got these big fat fucking pages. Let's slide that Pikachu right in there. Shit is not gonna work. There we go. Beautiful. And we're gonna put the rest of the cards in there and be right back. Chill for a couple. We'll be back. All right, now we have gotten the binder filled. We've got big fat, thick as fuck looking Pikachu. Uh, Dragapult VMAX, Pikachu V, Poltia Geist, War Beetle, Alakazam, Hatterini, and Dub Wool V. This is a cool binder and I'm very happy. However, I am sort of irritated because there are cards you can get which do not fit inside this binder. So why in the fuck would you make a binder that doesn't even fit the cards? <sighs> Maybe in the 50th anniversary, we'll get a binder for the bigger than big cards. Fingers crossed. And now we can take a look at these Pokeballs. What's inside a Pokeball? The answer is Pokemon cards, of course. Inside has three booster packs and a coin. That is fucking sick. All right, guys, what do you think of these big fat balls? I like them. Let's rip open the first one and see what we got. Oh, I forgot to introduce my pal, Disabled Charizard. He's gonna be helping us out with this video because he's such a special helping friend. Yeah. And then, of course, his other best friend, casually discarded and crumpled into a corner, is Disabled Squirtle, who will also be helping us in this unboxing. So, what is in... how do we open these? Oh, they just literally pop open. Okay. <laughs> um, what the fuck is that thing? Is that Ore Beetle? Can you guys tell? Now let's see what trash we were given inside. Oh, we got a sun and moon. Oh, fates collide. And then a sword and shield. No steam siege Pokemon? What? Are you serious with no steam siege right now? Uh, the coin. Oh, it's a Mew coin. 
we actually got a different coin. They did not cheap out on us and we actually got different coins. That's a really cool attention to detail. First one is the sun and moon with a creepy bat on the cover. There's the code card for the boys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We're gonna reveal the secret energy on the back, which is going to be a fist your mom energy. Nope, it's a fire. That's fine. <laughs> All right, let's take a little bit of a zoom in. and We got a wishy-washy, a herdier, and a lowland Persian. I don't think I've seen that before. Hmm. It's just a cat, I guess. That's pretty cool. A Spiro, a Grubbin. I don't like that. We have a Firo. Wow. That's pretty sick. It's a common. That's kind of surprising. <laughs> we got Snubble with those floppy, creepy grandma titties. I don't like that. We have a Sandile. We have a Reverse Hollow Bruxish. That is one flamboyant looking fish. Presumably he swims up to the sailors and they have their way with him, just for fun, for both of their mutual entertainment. And on the back, the very last card. The no- oh, god damn it! Oh, fuck you! Ah. Next up is a sword and shield with a Mario Galaxy sized Tummy Tum Snorlax on the cover. There's the code card. Thank you for watching. One, two, three. And we take off the leaf energy. Nope, lightning. God damn it, my psychic powers are way off tonight. All right, we have a great ball, but you know what? It's not that great. We have a Galarian Lanoon. It's a disgusting reeking of ass and shit skunk. That's gross. We have a Rotom Bike. We have a Gossifleur. It's a creepy hairy banana. A Silly Cobra with his eyes melting. That's gross. We have a Yamper. It's just a dog that someone tied a balloon around his neck. He's definitely gonna die soon of that. We get a Krabby, a Q-Fant, a Reverse Hitmonlee. Trying to kick that little dude in the corner, Hitmonlee, but you know, your legs just aren't long enough. And on the very end, nothing. It's a Stone Journer, non-hollow, non-reflective. Next on the list is Pokemon Sun and Moon. Ooh, that opened up kinda easy. There's your code card, enjoy boys. One, two, three to the front, and we fuck off that stone energy. Is stone even an energy? I don't know, we got moon. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom it out just a little. Just a little, there we go. I like that ratio a little bit better. We have a repel, it's an axe deodorant body spray. Women love smelling that, Corsola. Professor Kukui, look at that fucking Chad. This dude shows up to work in gym shorts and a lab coat and nothing else. Fucking straight up alpha male Chad status right there. Spiro, Grubbin, Firo, Snubble, we're getting a lot of repeats somehow. Sandile, we have a reverse foil, common wingull. It's a seagull without a body, it's just a head and wings. That's creeping me out. And on the very end, a TS Arena, which is fine. It's at least something. Sick, we actually got a hit, kind of. And next is another sword and shield. There's your code card, boys, enjoy. One, two, three to the front, and we're fucking off that fist energy. God damn it, <laughs> lightning energy. Okay, we have a Raboot, he's a Naruto. We have a Lumberry. I want to eat it, but I bet if you press this button and these segments open up, it's full of insects swarming around. Disgusting. An Aurora Energy? That's sick. We've got a Grookey, Q-Fant, Baltoy. I, every time I see that thing, I just imagine it floating uncomfortably close to me. And then I just whip out a baseball bat from nowhere and grand slam him into the stratosphere. We have a Chin Chow, it's a creepy little fish. If you were swimming around and you saw this thing flying at you at the speed of darkness, you'd most likely die on the spot of a heart attack. We have a Sizzlipede, he's a sizzly snake with sizzly snake aids and sizzly snakes. We have a reverse pin search and he's got testicles on his face because the people that create Pokemon are horrible monsters. And on the very end, ah, <sighs> fucking nothing. Again, we're getting some fucking terrible pulls today, aren't we? Alrighty, next up is the Fates Collide. I am pretty much unfamiliar with this series, but we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, 
I'm gonna guess. Yeah, wow, I can't believe I did not fuck it up. There's your code card, boys. We're gonna do one, two, three to the front, and honestly, I don't know if there's an energy, so I'm not gonna fuck with it. Okay. Well, these look a little different, don't they? We got Kangaskhan trying to grab you and molest you. It's probably not the best thing. We have a Sink Chino floating. I guess it's some kind of psychic Pokemon can float around. Team Rocket's handiwork. That's pretty sick. I like the artwork. It's very, very cartoony. We have a Mink Chino. Hmm. I actually did not know that these were separate Pokemon. I thought they were the same thing. I guess one has long hair. Anyways, Mink Chino. Diglett. Just creepy. He's just staring ominously at nothing inside of a cave. We have a Snivy, a Coughing, we get a Lar Vitar. I don't know what he's doing in that cave, but he's happy, so that's good. We have a Reverse Foil Rotom. How cool is that, actually? That is such cool artwork, and I love the design. All those lightning bolts. Damn, that's really cool. I like that. I still don't understand exactly what Rotom is, but I guess it's a Pokemon that can be a bike and a mode and all kinds of weird shit. And on the very end... Okay, we got a Del Fox. I'm presuming that that's nothing. We'll just go ahead with a little zoom in for the furries. There you go, guys. Don't say I didn't do anything for you, and I expect a like from each of you for taking this extra time to show off your waifu. You're welcome. Alrighty, last up is the Fates Collide. Damn, that opened up real easy. There is your code card. I am so fucking good today. One, two, three to the front, and there was no energy, so we will not fuck an energy off. Here is a Pupitar. He's a creepy bug that looks like a mask that just sits on a tree. Very ominous. We have energy reset, Servine, another Larvitar, another creepy Diglett just staring into nothing. We have Mink Chino with an alternate artwork. Very cool. Spoink. <laughs> I don't know why, but every time I see this thing, it makes me laugh. Ah, uh, coughing. Scorched Earth. That's a cool looking reverse too. Ooh, look at that. I like that. What does it do? Once during each player's turn... And I gave up midway through. And on the very end, we have a white Q-Rem. Interesting. Okay. So no amazing, amazing pulls this video, guys. But it is fun to make content for you guys. And it is fun to give away some code cards. I just wish that the scene was a little bit better these days, you know? They're getting really, really hard to find. And I just hate paying scalpers, guys. I hate it so much. Don't you disable Charizard? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Go ahead and throw me a like. That's not a request, that's an order. And I'll see you in the next one. Do those uh, wiggly fingers on the outro. I'm wearing the glove. All right, start it over. <laughs> this is too much fucking shit. Right. Ooh. Oops. I hit the fucking camera. Oh shit! It's this thing. The fuck is that for? Huh. And I actually see some scratches on there that don't move when the plastic moves, so they're on the card. Thanks, eBay. Knew my ass. Don't move when the plastic moves. Isn't that the fucking shit we just got? Why are you telling me about it? In the thing that gave it to me, in the unboxing that gave it to me. God damn it. Dragapult to VMAX. Actually, let's raise the camera up. This is kind of fucking obnoxious. Of course, they're not gonna make this remotely easy. They didn't even put um, perforated lines anywhere. Perforated lines. All right, fine. I'll angle you so you can see at least. There you go. Stop your fucking complaining. Why is my focus all fucked?
As you can see, the corners are pretty fucked looking, so hopefully that doesn't mean the cards are bent. You want some help down? All right, I'll come help you. Yeah. There you go, friend. Fuck you. <laughs> Destroy the fucking thing. But for you creepy furries, we'll go ahead and zoom in so you can get an artwork uh, peep. God damn it. Scrambles, take a fucking choco. Oh, but before we go, I just wanted to show everybody the back of all the code cards. We've got three dog shit code cards and three good code cards. However, we didn't get anything amazing. All right, bye.